Having undergone gender reassignment surgery last year, Peter is now known as Katie and is an inspiring role model and transgender firefighter who's even been nominated for Services Woman of the Year Award and she joins us now, uh, for which we offer you congratulations. Yeah, it's not you. done yet and you'll be up against some incredible competition for that one, yes, but, uh, but amazing. I mean, to have served as a Marine and then as a firefighter, uh, I think you'll have done your country pride, no doubt. I hope so, yeah, yeah. that's true. And can you believe through all this, there you are now, you know, nominated for Woman of the Year. Mm. How does that feel for you? Uh, it's quite life confirming, actually. Yeah. Life affirming, yeah. It's been a long journey, a, a very challenging journey. I'm sure. um, but I'm very happy and um, pleased where I am now. Yeah. I mean, a very long journey, Katie, because you say, I mean, you, you eventually got married, you're a father of two, but you say you knew from a very young age. Mm. What, what did you notice? How did it make you feel when you were young? Mm. So, when I was uh, five years old, was my first memory of anything different about me, which is in my uh, sister's bedroom. Um, uh, she she had a yellow bikini on a great big teddy bear that you get from the fun fairs um, and I really liked it and I went into the room and tried it on um, so that was the first time I ever knew there was uh, something yeah. different about me but for you at five years old that's just like I like that I'll try it on you didn't yeah. think that that was wrong what about your family's response to some of your behavior what were they like so uh, when I was very young um, I was very well supported they uh, they allowed me to express my gender identity up until nine years old mm -hmm. um, do you think they knew at that point like, uh, he's not happy being a boy. Uh, I, maybe they guessed that. Mm. I can't. Uh, my father recognised um, later on when I spoke to him in life that you know there was something very different about me, and I wasn't quite the stereotypical male boy yeah. that was growing mm. up. Um, and I, uh, I was but, happy to express yeah. myself. Boy, did you grow up and you you lived the life, and uh, you went you you became a husband, and you became a dad as well. Did you just? Was that an acceptance? And did you just think, well, this is the way it has to be? And I wonder now, when you look back at that, and you have two children, um, do you regard that as, as time in your life wasted or not lived? Or how do you look back on that previous life? Uh, I, I accept the life that I've had to live, the struggles that I've had through my life. Um, I had to live within the constructs of a society mm. that didn't really understand or have an awareness about trans people or, um, um, or women with a trans history. Um, so it was a very challenging time. Um, I, I was supported very, very lovingly by my ex-wife, um, who was an amazing person while we were together. Did uh, she have any idea at all of yes. how you, you were feeling about being a, ma a, a, a woman? Um, yeah. yeah. Yeah, when I was uh, um, when I met my um, ex-wife, I told her quite quickly about my my self gender identity and how I felt about myself. But again, we had a very protective uh, net, a barrier around us that we felt we needed to protect mm. our relationship, the relationship with our children, our children from society. Mm. You know, and that was. Mm. That was... And did, did you uh, ever dress up as a woman with your ex-wife at home? You know, in the confines and the privacy of your home, yeah. were you able then to be the woman you wanted to be, even though outside nobody knew? Yeah, I, I was. I was able to share it with my wife. She was, like I say, she was a very supportive individual. Um, shared it. I shared it with my ex-wife. Yeah. We both shared it with my, my brother, who um, is the epitome of a sibling in my eyes. Cool. Um, so we did share it. Uh, and it, when it was OK to do so, you know, yeah. it was, I'm not saying it wasn't challenging. And the children was, weren't aware at that point. No, we, no. we kept it away from our children. We thought, again, we were protecting ourselves. Mm. I, I actually look back and think it would have been best to tell them because how does society move on if we don't be open and honest and yeah. transparent about ourselves? So mm -hmm. you then did that very brave thing, you yeah. made the change, you stopped, in, in your words, living the lie. Uh, you're still a firefighter. Uh, what was it like? Um, you know, I know inclusion is so very, very important. This is why you talk about this in public as well and, and understanding. Um, what was the reception like from work colleagues? Uh, my initial, well, the first person I told, my line manager, his uh, initial reception was very stunned, you know, open jaw, um, but very quickly uh, expressed, how can I support you with this? And that was really a key moment for mm. him to say that to me, because if he'd have reacted negatively, I think my journey would have been very negative mm. in the fire and rescue service. My colleagues around me, when I went on to tell them, they were absolutely supportive, quite inquisitive about my life, my history, what this actually meant, um, and all about my gender identity mm. and, and the wider inclusion yeah. agenda, really. And that life and that history hasn't stopped and, uh, you know, you may become firefighter off the, off the year. Mm. Uh, we wish you well with thank all you. of that. And, and thank you very much indeed. Good luck with your quest for uh, wider understanding and in inclusion as well. Yeah, thank you, yeah, Katie. Absolutely. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you, Katie. For more of the same, just click here.
And don't forget, you can subscribe for even more of these amazing videos exclusive to our channel. At what point did you think, no, this has gone beyond now? Um, just when every single day he woke up and he had more and more and more arriving like, on his face, he would just have like them on top of each other. Mm -hmm. So oh. I obviously then thought that night this is not his temperature was up to oh 41 degrees goodness, look at him he's dropped his teddy can someone pick his sorry <laughs> no no it's all right